right, and we're recording. Hey gang, Andy here, and welcome to the debut episode of Andy Talks Japandi, formerly known as Andy Before Japandi. So in today's episode, guys, we're going to be talking about what I miss about living in Japan while living here in America. And these are in no particular order, so with that said, let's just jump right into it. And the first thing that I miss about living in Japan while living here in the States is that in Japan, people put in great attention to detail to their jobs, no matter what it is. There's a lot of different attention details. I noticed this especially with food. Just going to like, say, McDonald's, for instance, what you see on the, uh, the order boards and things like that is about as close as you're gonna get to what you order. It's just great, man. You know, all the food's really fresh. It's like very neatly prepared. Like, you know, all the different items and stuff are very carefully placed on the sandwich and things like that. And that's just one small example. There's many others I could give. And so the second thing that I miss about living in Japan is that it's way safer in Japan, crime-wise. Uh, that was one of the big reverse culture shocks that I got uh, when coming back to the States. Now. Uh, for those that don't know, from a small town in Ohio called Salina, about 10,000 or so people, uh, not that big, but there have been some major crimes going on in the area, mostly involving drugs. A lot of opiate rings and heroin and meth and all that fun stuff. And there was even like uh, a gun shootout near the police station out there. and. You know, to come back to all that after living abroad for two years and being in the Navy for five years was just such a reverse culture shock. And, you know, I definitely got to say, in Japan, never felt like I was going to get mugged, jumped, never felt like any of my stuff was going to get stolen. Even my bike, which I still kept locked up because, you know, old habits die hard, right? Never felt unsafe at all anywhere I went in Japan. And I've been to some pretty seedy spots as well just to kind of test things out, of course. And so the third thing that I miss about living in Japan is that in Japan, you don't really need a car to get around unless you live out in the Inaka, the countryside area of Japan. But I lived in city sides, so never had to worry about, you know, how am I gonna get to work, especially since I had a bicycle that I rode to work. Aside from riding my bicycle to work, I also took the trains, Occasionally took buses, but usually just walked to the train station and took a train to pretty much anywhere I wanted to go within Japan. It made things a lot easier to get around, and I saved so much money on car insurance, maintenance, gas especially. And so the fourth thing that I miss about living abroad in Japan is that the quality of life is way higher, even if you have low income in Japan. That's another thing I... I got a bit of a reverse culture shock on when coming back to the States was that my money doesn't really go as far as it used to, or at least in certain areas. Now, in some areas like food and things like that, you know, you can get some pretty cheap food here in America and it'll get you by to the next day. But as far as other things that we'll talk about here in a little bit, uh, but mostly like housing was a big one. You know, it, it's really hard to find uh, good housing on the cheap Whereas in Japan, you can like rent pretty much like a walk-in closet for a reasonable price, as long as it kind of gets you by. But uh, in the States, and especially where I was at in the States, you know, more of the rural Midwestern type areas, you know, you had to get pretty much like the lowest space you could get was like a one bedroom apartment that was like 700 bucks. And it wasn't even in that big of a city or anything. So it's just like, I don't really need all this space and I don't want to pay that much money to live in a one-bedroom apartment. And one of the other things that I miss about living in Japan is pretty much anything medical related. Now, keep in mind, when I was living abroad in Japan, I uh, was stationed out there as part of the US Navy, so all my medical stuff was taken care of through like TRICARE and all that kind of stuff, so I didn't have to really worry about going like out in town for medical stuff. But, you know, I'd constantly see like my uh, expat friends out in Japan going in for like either routine examinations, x-rays, uh, sometimes some uh, surgeries as well. You know, even just like an x-ray was like 30, 40 bucks USD. Uh, I think the most expensive thing that I saw was uh, one of my friends got like root canal surgery and it was like 500 bucks for the whole thing. And I'm like, wow, you could not get that in America. I don't care how good your insurance is. It's just 
insane to me. And so the sixth thing that I miss about living abroad in Japan is that in Japan, people usually leave you alone. Now, this can all depend on where you're at in Japan. You know, if you're in the city side, like in Tokyo, for example, I do hear a lot from my friends that people are kind of cold out there and they kind of interpret them as, as being cold. But for me, they just are more like respectful of, of people. They don't want to like bother people or anything like that. So for me, as an introvert, it's definitely very nice to not get constantly bothered by people just walking around. But in other cities like Osaka and Kyoto and stuff like that, people are more apt to kind of talk to you um, out in the street and stuff like that. So not saying those things don't happen in Tokyo, but they're a lot less likely to happen. And so the seventh thing that I miss about living in Japan is that in the city side, there's always something to do, whether it's going to the malls or going to some landmark. And this also kind of ties in with just uh, my love for the aesthetic, the aesthetic of Japan. You know, there's just always something to do, some festival to go to, some little pop-up shop that happens, you know, some landmarks, some, there's always something to do. Whereas where I was at in rural Ohio or even out in Michigan, you know, there wasn't a whole lot of options to do. And plus you had to like drive all the way out there and it's just like, ugh, man. <laughs> Just put me on the train so I can just kind of zone out and listen to podcasts until we get there, right? And so the eighth thing that I miss about living in Japan is that there's open drinking in Japan. So here in the States, I can't have open containers of alcohol out and about. Like I can't like have a beer just walking around town or whatever here in the States. Uh, but in Japan, you can do that. And it's just really nice. You know, just if anything, it's just kind of convenient. So, you know, you don't have to worry about like having a little brown bag and just like, oh man, <laughs> you know? And you know, it's kind of essential for things like Hanami, uh, which is the spring gathering where people basically sit under the cherry blossoms and drink and eat and have fun. And so the ninth and final thing that I miss about living in Japan while living here, currently in the States, is that in Japan, there's plenty of opportunities to meet up with foreigners from all walks of life. I met so many different people during my time in Japan from all over the world. Uh, I've met some people from like Turkey, a lot of Canadians, somebody from Finland, all over the place, and even fellow Americans. I've met Americans from all around America even. And it's just such a good thing to meet up with so many people from so many different walks of life. It really gives your own life a lot of perspective. And it just allows you to think a lot more globally and gets you out of your little comfort bubble, as it were. Those are some things that I miss about living in Japan while uh, currently living here in America. So let me know in the comments down below in the boopity boops if you've lived abroad whether it's in Japan or elsewhere, what are some things that you miss from living in that country while you're living either in your home country or elsewhere around the world? Let me know in the comments down below. And with that said, guys, this is the Andy Sun. It's not it for now. As always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.